Hi everyone, we're here at the Grand National Roaster Show with Tom Nelson from Nelson Racing Engines and he's just finished, or his company's just finished, this amazing 55 Chevy Bel Air. It's an NA motor but it's still got a little bit of extra kick. Uh, Tom, tell us about it. Uh, so this is a 490 inch LS, so it's got a real big arm and an RHS tall, uh, tall deck. It's a LS 7 head, CNC ported, it's got a CNC ported mast single plane intake. And then we've made a really nice custom cowl induction piece that actually functions through the cowl. Um, you know, really nice headers. Everything about this car is craftsmanship and being subtle, so the car is timeless. And uh, I imagine it's built on some kind of a custom chassis as well? Yeah, so it's running a Roadster Shop Fast Track chassis. Those guys are awesome. They did a beautiful job for us. Uh, it's also got these uh, Roadster Shop OE, uh, OE1 rims that are uh, forge line, but they look like they're factory. So it's 18 inch in the front and then a, a 19 inch in the back, and we're able to use the stock dog dish on that. And uh, the motor NA makes, what, about 750 horsepower, but that's never enough? Uh, it actually makes, it just makes a tick under 700 horsepower. It's a 10 to 1 hydraulic cam pump gas deal, but uh, it's got 500 horse worth of spray on it if you want it, you know. And it's it's super pissed, super pissed. So I got the cam set in at like 106 intake center line, so it just thumps, you know. Well, you, you did say uh, yesterday when I was chatting to you, this is like your background. You used to build these nasty NA motors, then you got into the turbos. So yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, back back in the day, that's what I used to do. Is, is I was always nitrous and, and, you know, a small block that was nasty. So, this car being, the, you know, that you know the period that it is, I wanted it to be that. I didn't really want this one to be turbocharged. I wanted it to, do, to have that thump and to have that classic sound, but also haul ass. And, and this thing... We were, we were tooling around the other day and it it moves, you know. So what's the rest of the drive line? Got a stick shift in it? Yeah, so it's, a, it's Tremec Magnum, six speed. It's got a 35 spline uh, Ford nine inch with a nodular center section. You know, it's, it's got all the good stuff, Penske adjustables. It's got 14 and a quarter inch, six piston bare brakes and rack and pinion. So, I mean, the thing handles like a new car. It accelerates like, you know, it'll pretty much wax whatever factory, you know, brakes good, but you got the classic Classic styling of a 1955 Bel Air, and you're never going to get that today, you know. And even the interior, you've, it's all modernised. You've got some bucket seats in it, even though they're you know older style bucket seats. But you've done the trim to kind of mimic the OEM stuff as well. I can't even tell you how many hours a, uh, there is in the trim. Not to mention the bumpers. The bump ends are sectioned and heated and bent and blocked and blocked and blocked and blocked. But when you look at it, it looks really clean. Yeah. One other thing you do with this car, you powder coated the entire body, like inside and out, and you use that as a bit of a base for panel work. Yeah, so on, on this car, we originally acid dipped it. We did all the metal work that we wanted to do. We tubbed it, put all of our details in it, made a custom firewall, pulled, made wood bucks and pull maxed everything. And then we went back and lightly sandblasted it and then powder coated it after that. And so that's electrostatically charged. So the, the powder coated just, it gets into places that you're not gonna be able to paint. And it's the perfect primer. So you can, when you get it back, you can start blocking on that primer and it's just, it's, it's a great way to do things. Well, it's an amazing car and a, and a debut here at the Grand National Roaster Show, so it's, you wouldn't have seen it anywhere else, so thank you for bringing it along. All right, thank you. Yeah.